look at this issue, and a lot of people are defending Will Smith on this, um, we, we either be from the male or the female side, that he was defending his wife's honor. I call bull crap. He was not defending his wife's honor. Okay, if anything, if you wanted to slap somebody, he should have slapped August Alsina because whether you guys are swingers or not, you guys made an agreement that this would not come to light and he disrespected your wife as well. Your wife disrespected you, okay? Your wife disrespected you for a, a comedian, which is his line of business, to do a very light, harmless joke. I don't know if Chris Rock knew that she had alopecia or some sort of... Uh, uh, you know, condition where it makes her hair fall out or have low hair. Everybody doesn't like every joke. There's been many jokes throughout the course of time in the black community that people say that people don't like, but nobody goes on stage during the Oscars, not the Grammys, not the movie awards, but the Oscars, the, the, the top stage when it comes to awards, and you got an Oscar yourself for the movie you did about Serena Venus Williams' father, and there you go slop, slopping another black man. But there was a video that came out of uh, a white man who's part of the LGBT community and on a photo shoot of Will Smith at a, a particular movie opening or something like that. He was kissing Will Smith on the mouth, excuse me, on the cheeks and Will Smith pushed him away and kind of gave him a love top in the face. And it was like, Will Smith, what was that about? He tried to kiss me, right? But he didn't have the same smoke for a person who violated him, that essentially uh, did sexual harassment and sexual assault on Will Smith in broad daylight in front of everybody. But a comedian, another black person, says a joke about G.I. Jane 2, and because your wife didn't like it, you go on stage, on the biggest stage in the world, and you slap him, another black man, you don't have that same smoke. But if you go back, ladies and gentlemen, and you see... The interview with Will Smith and Arsenio Hall, uh, uh, Will Smith made the same joke to one of the the band members of Arsenio Hall band, and that guy had a hair condition as well, but he made a bald head joke as well. See the hypocrisy in this? And a lot of these, uh, uh, a lot of these people coming out, oh, well, he was defending his wife, honor a joke? You can't take a joke? Now, I think about all the white comedians, right? I uh, forgot the name of the white comedian. He's really raunchy, but he's very popular. Forgot his name. He has a black wife. I wonder if he said the joke, will Will Smith go on stage and slap him? Probably not. If Jerry Seinfeld was saying that joke, will he go on stage and slap him? Better yet, another black comedian like Dave Chappelle. Do you think he would have went on stage and slapped Dave Chappelle? Hell no, because everyone knows that Dave Chappelle would have put hands on him. And here's the thing about Chris Rock, why I think he didn't retaliate. He what I think he was slightly surprised. He thought Will Smith was going to come and talk to him. Because if you noticed on the video, ladies and gentlemen, he leaned over to see if Will Smith was going to talk to him, and he slapped him. So he shocked him. And for a quick moment, I think Chris Rock was going to retaliate, but he realized he was going to hurt his back. Now, some people are even talking about why... Uh, Chris Rock, he a punk ass dude. Why didn't he uh, fight Will Smith back? It's the Oscars. It's the biggest stage. And some of you are like, oh, that was total disrespect. He should have defended himself. He had every right. I know what Chris Rock was thinking. If I start a fight on national TV, not only will it make black people look bad, but it'll hurt the bag. It'll hurt his check. He might still get paid for that, but we got two grown-ass black men who are professionals in the field, who, who are dynamite in the field, We either be acting in comedy. This thing about them brawling on stage, how that hurt the black community, how that will hurt both of their careers going forward. Now, a lot of people are coming out believing that this is a hoax, that this is fake. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 100% real in my opinion. Okay, this is 100% real in my opinion. Some people have pointed out, well, this was real. Why didn't security come and escort Will Smith out? First and foremost, it's the Oscars. All of these are actors. They have security at the doors and things like that. And second of all, it's Will Smith. And then third of all, there was no further altercations from this. So when we look at the situation, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, Will Smith, and I know this is a stretch, Will Smith is a punk-ass dude when it comes to this. I like the guy as an actor, but now I've lost a little bit respect because you sucker slapped him, 
Okay, you 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 sucker slap, and some of you uh bootlegging Negroes out there. Uh, he was defending his wife honor. Was he defending his wife honor when he was letting her go sleep with August Alcina and tell everybody that oh now the information came out that is an entanglement. This dude did a whole interview about how Will Smith knew about everything that it was going on. He knew about everything that was going on. And it wasn't supposed to come to light. And like and like Jay said, he said, it's not a matter if it's fake or not. It's very, very damaging. This is the first time this has ever happened in the Oscars, by the way. So this is definitely history. And again, some, some people from all across the world, they're going to say black on black crime. Black on black crime. Black people in a professional setting at the most elite level in acting and comedy could not even have the composure to handle this like civilized beings. Because here's the thing. If you really wanted to do something with Chris Rock, let me tell you what's a better setting. After you guys finish the Oscars, you invite Chris Rock in the back one of the green rooms and you lock the door and you guys handle business right there if you wanted to defend your wife's honor. But who, what type of guy would Chris Rock be to hurt his paycheck? What type of guy would Chris Rock be to, uh, to start off an entire brawl on stage? See, I think that Chris Rock looked at the bigger picture and I don't know if I, if I was man enough to take a slap and keep the show going like Chris Rock did. So he's showing a lot of people not only can he refrain from that, but the amount of patience, because we know in the black community, one of the most disrespectful things that you can do is slap somebody. You talk about somebody's mother. You talk about, uh, 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 excuse me, you talk about somebody's mother. You slap someone or you spit on someone. That is some of the worst things that you can do in the black community. Some people will accidentally while they're talking, like even me, spit on someone and people will look at you like you're crazy. You're about to start a whole fight. But to slap someone on national TV, another black man, and I just have to think about things. What if this was Jerry Seinfeld? What would he would have done that? I don't think so. And then I go like, what if it was Dave Chappelle? What he would have done that? No. What about the LGBTQ uh, guy about 10 years ago, kiss you all over your mouth and you gave him a love tap? You didn't put hands on them like you did Chris Rock. We have so much vitriol and hate for one another, but when it comes to other people, non-black people, we don't bring the same smoke. We don't bring the same smoke. See, this is my challenge to rappers. Instead of saying the N-word all the damn time, won't you replace the N-word with bigot? Won't you replace the N-word with white supremacy? Won't you replace the N-word with KKK? See, we need to start having love for ourselves before we expect any other body to have love for us. So, Will Smith, your ass need to be slapped.